Hey, what's up, guys? This is Chung here. So today, actually, I want to talk about uh, one of the problem on the on cold forces. And this one, yeah, uh, the cold force round number 592, uh, problem D, paint the tree. So you're given like a tree consisting of n vertices. Right, and be, so a tree means that you have n vertices and then you have n minus one edges. Okay, and you need to paint the tree. And you follow follow some some rules here. So the rules is that you, you can only paint the trees uh, by using three colors, basically colors one, two, and three. And the rules is, is that on each of the connecting on each of the consecutive three uh, vertices. On, on any of the path, you cannot basically each each of the uh, each of the color on those three uh, number on the three nodes should uh, should has to be different. Basically, this one you, you have a, a x, y, and z. So, for example, if you paint uh, number six one the color one, and then you have to paint color uh, node uh, this node either two or three. Right, and here you have you also need to paint like this one three. You cannot paint the, the you cannot paint this node four to one because it says that you know both this x y and, and z this this triplets they have to be different. But after three here, th this one it can be and it can be a uh, can be what? So it can be it can only be be one. Right, so. That's it. I will talk about that later, but that's the way it is, right? And and it asks you to paint the tree, and it asks you to calculate the minimum cost, the minimum cost of following this good painting rules, right? And then return this this path, return the colors of each node, because you know for painting each node, you're also given like another another uh, three three list which uh, represents for each of the node if you want to paint a uh, this node to color one two three what's going to be the cost okay and you need to find the uh, the minimum total cost to paint the the, the entire tree following this uh, following this x y z rules and if there's no such way to paint it you we just return uh, we said we uh, reported, which means uh, we, we just return minus one. Yeah, so if there's no good painting, print minus one. Right? Ad otherwise, uh, paint this uh, the colors from from the first no from the first vertice to the last vertice. Okay, and here we have some examples, right? So we have three we have three nodes, and then there are the three uh, different colors for each node. And here is the the graph. Basically, we have one. One, two, and, and three, right? So from one to two, from two to three, that's it. So, yeah, so that's the uh, that's the the dis description of the problem, and how can we solve it, right? So, so the way we're solving it, you know, the uh, I think one of the observations we we need to make here is that you know, let's say for example we have th this node here, right? We have this node, this node. Right, and then we have a bunch of other nodes here. And then from here we have another one, another two. Okay. For example, right, let's say we're assuming we have this kind of kind of tree. And let's say we try to paint this one with with color one. Okay, so for for this one, uh we can choose either two or three, right? So let's let's choose two here. Let's choose two. So, since we have this like triplets x, y, and z rules, which means that you know, which uh, I mean, all those three nut colors has to be different, right? That's why. So with this one and two, if you want to paint this one, it has to be three. There's no other way we can paint because we know. From with one and two, we have to paint three. Same thing for for this one. This one is also three, right? And how about how about this one? Has to be one, 
because we have two and three. Here is also one. Also, this is also one. Same thing for this one. So what does this one tells us? It tells us as long as we have fixed the previ the uh, the previously two colors, the next one is basically is fixed. Which means, so the next color is what is six minus uh, previously color one and minus previously color two. So that's the uh, that's the basic the. Uh, the formula here so which means that you know if we start from a leaf node right so because we have to start from the from the leaf node so that we can there's only there's only one way we can paint these two colors as long as we have we have fixed the, the previously the two colors you know i mean the next one is fixed it's always going to be the six minus the previous one previously color one and minus previously co previously color two Yeah, so that's it. That's that. And how about that that uh, invalid case, that minus one? So when should we return minor, minus one? So we return minus one when there's a uh, there's a node who has like uh, who has three uh, who has uh, more than three equal or three or, or more than three uh, edges. For example, this one. Actually, you know, this is uh, like an, an, an invalid painting because because we have this, we have one here, right? And we also have one here. So this three is not a valid painting. Same thing for, for this three here. So a condition for minus one is that as long as there's a node who has like uh, more than two edges, with connecting with with this node, then we we just need to return minus one. I think it's pretty easy to to uh, to prove, right? So let's say we have this one. We have a node here, right? And we have a we have three edges connecting to this node. So it doesn't really matter which one we, we I mean which color we pick. I mean let's say if we pick this one as one and two, right? So for this one it has to be three. Right, but since this two and three is is fixed, so this one it has to be one. But we have one and one here, so that's why. That, so this one is not valid. You can just try other like op, uh, scenarios, but as long as there's like a node that has more than two edges connect to it, and we'll definitely return minus one, and that's gonna be our uh, special case, right? And Actually, and then after that, as long as we have figured out this, this one here, so we just need to find a leaf node, okay? And then we just try, we, we just try all the uh, the combinations of these two colors, and then we just uh, uh, we just go from there, and then we we and then we calculate the total cost by high, by fixing these two colors, and then we just go uh, do a DFS search for all the trees. And we just get the uh, the minimum uh, cost among all those kind of combinations, right? And then we just also maintain like another array to to maintain the colors for this kind of for this uh, combination. Yeah, I think that's that's gonna be the idea here. And so for the uh, for the implementation, right? So I, I'm gonna use C++ here, and let's see. Uh, to start with, right? To start with, we need to read some of the. We need to read from some of the numbers. So the first one, the first line is n, right? And after n, there's like three uh, arrays who has the length of n, which represents the uh, for each of the nodes for for the three colors of the cost and then there's another n minus one lines here for a graph for the edges right and the output is first is the total the minimum cost and the second line is the uh, the colors for this minimum cost okay cool so with that and to solve it right so first thing first uh, i'm going to we need to define a few like uh few um, 
variables, global variables. You know, the first one is the what? The first one is the, like the, the int, right? So we need to define like an int. That's that, you know. You can either use the integer or long, but you know, since this one, I'll, I'll, I'll just use a long, long, just to be safe. And then the first thing I'm going to get in here, right? So that's that. And I'm also going to define like uh, a two dimensional array to store the uh, the the cost for for each color for e each of the nodes. All right. So to do that, you know, I'm going to use like integer. So I'm going to color. And since the total, the biggest n is like uh, 10 to the power of five. Right, so I'm going to use like the uh, max n here, so equals to the 10 the power of 5 plus, plus 1 plus 5. It doesn't really matter, I'll just use this one. So, and we have uh, this one, max n, and then we have 4 here. Right, so because since, since uh, on code forces, they always use one base, right? That's why I'm doing this like 4, so I can uh, save 3 here. And now I just need to read the uh, those colors, right? So I'm going to have like a, a nested for loop here. So J, the first one is the the I'm going since there are like three lines, right? So um, J plus plus, and then we have a uh, int I from one three I plus plus. Here, so here we have J here, right? That's that. And then I just I just uh, read this thing into the uh, C I J, right? So, so that's the first step to read that, and the second one is just to read to basically to read the n minus one edges, right? So which means that we're gonna need a graph. So for a graph, I'm gonna use a vector, vector of in, integer, right, to maintain that graph. So so the node, you know, the node is also like uh, has max of nodes, and each, each node has like a vector, right? For for the edges uh, connecting to, to this node, and for that I'm, I have a, like another one. So since I have a minus one, I have i equals to one, and i equals to n, right? I plus plus. So and then I just uh, and also yeah so we also need another like u and v right so I'm going to have like a u and v here that's that just to read this u and v u and v and then graph of u dot we just uh, push back this one add to the to this vector for this node right so v vice versa right graph v dot push back of you. So that's how we read the data, right? And so the next thing is that, you know, we, we check if the, uh, if we should return minus one or, or not. That's how we do it for i in one i smaller than n here and i plus plus, right? And then if the graph graph i dot size the size of this node has has uh, at, th at least three uh, three edges then I, I can simply print the mi minus one right and then I can just simply re return so that's the uh, that's the the special case here and since we're, we're since we need to start from a leaf node, right? And then that's why I'm going to have like int start uh, minus one, and if graph dot i dot size right size is size is one means that it's a leaf node, right? Then I just uh, assign this one to i, and that's going to be our starting starting point. Okay, and now. So the next thing is that I'm I'm simply going to uh, loop through the uh, all the combinations of the first node, okay. And so the first node is going to be a uh, int c one equals to 
one and C one smaller than three. Basically, loop through, loop through the first all the all the colors for the first color for the first uh, node, and then same thing for the second node here. For int C two goes to one C two three dot C two plus plus. Um, so actually, the this this for loop here, you know, it's for the uh, let's say we have this node here, right? And we have this one, this one. Sorry, not not this one. We need a leaf node, right? So this is a leaf node, and we have a bunch of other nodes here. So. So here the C1, C2, I'm assuming there's like a two virtual node before the before our starting nodes here. So that we can uh, basically I'm having two virtual nodes here for like C1 and C C and C2. So we can uh, just loop through all the possibilities for for the first node. Okay. And if right, if the C1 equals to C or C2, then we simply do a continue, right? Because we don't want to, so this, this three nodes also has to be uh, different. And we also need like a cost, right? For the uh, the current cost, the current cost for, for, the, for the path. That's why I'm going to also need to, need to define like a cost here. Since the cost, we need uh, like a, a, a long long type because it's a it's a sum it's a accumulated value right so it could be a over it could be a bigger than than the integer and so that's that on the so at, at the beginning right so for this new like uh, scenario the cost we initialize with zero and then we're gonna have like DFS right so we have DFS here and the uh, I'm, assume, I'm going to put this DFS here for now. And if the cost cost is smaller than the maximum, oh, we also need to define like a maximum here. Okay. Right. So that's the maximum cost. Maximum, right? And then we just uh, first we uh, we update the max with a cost, right? And then we just uh, also we also need to. Uh, that's why. So when, whenever the cost is smaller, we just uh, um, use the uh, that 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 colors the colors for this current scenario. Which means we also need to define a few other uh, variables to maintain. So I'm going to use a current to maintain the uh, the colors for the current all all the colors for the current uh, combin scenario. And then we all, I'm also going to like define like the max the answers. So the answer will be the uh, the final one, the final answer. So if this thing is uh it's smaller than the maximum, I'll just uh I'll just sign the uh, the other one the int i equals to one to i uh. this one to uh, answer dot i equals the uh, current i so not uh, yeah so here I'm just assigning the uh, basically the current i is for the current the current scenario right for this for this uh, DFIS traverse if if the if the cost for this current scenario is smaller than the maximum one and then I'm going to uh, basically update our final answer because here it's this current one stores all the colors, the colors for each, each node. And yeah, and after this one, we simply just uh, uh, do the output, right? So the output is maximum, and then do an end L, right? So that's that, and then we, we just do a like for loop here, into i equals to one, i equals smaller than n, and i plus plus, and then out answer i right and then add like a space so that's that 
yeah, I think that's the uh, the basic one. And now let's implement this DFS. Right. So the DFS is like it's just void of uh, DFS, right? So we have a we have a U, right? And then we have parent, and then we have a previously pre previously color one and previously color two. So int. So, yeah, and that's the four like parameters, right? We're gonna have, gonna use here. And the current one, right? So the current color is what is six, minus previous color one and and the minus previously color color two. Okay, and the cost. For using this current color, uh, is the accumulated cost is the color of this U of this node and with the current color. And we also need to update the uh, this array here since uh, to, for to main to uh, to maintain the color for each node, right? So that's uh, U will be equals to the color. Now let's do the DFS, right? So for the auto, auto V, right? So from the graph of U, if if the V is not equals to the parent, right? Since it's a, it's a since this is like a tree, and we are basically traversing from the root, the root that we are, we are like we are basically we are traversing from a, a leaf node and then to the uh, to, to the child node. That's why we, we since since we're creating this this graph bidirectionally, and that's why we also need to pass in this parent to make sure we're not traversing back to the to the parent node. And so with that that's why we only traverse continue to traverse if the the v is not the same as a parent. And then we do a DFS of the uh, now the now the v will be the current and the parent will be u right, and the color. So the color is gonna be, so the, the previously one is gonna be the CC and the previously two become becomes a PC one, right? So I think this is not hard, too hard to be, to understand, right? And then after this DFS, right? So we'll have this the total cost to to color each of the node, and when we have this one, then then we just do the following. So the starting point is gonna be the the start, right? And then at the beginning, the parent is minus one, and we have C one and C and C and C two. Cool. So I think that's that's it, right? So yeah, I think the moment I pressed F five, it just uh, stopped my recording. So I have I had to change the, the hotkey. Sorry about that. So and so to I think we have a back here because you know the uh, the the, uh, the the max here right since we are getting the maximum the current maximum right and we have to initialize it with the uh, with like a big number so let, let me define another, like another constant here const uh, long long 18 okay so and then we have a lot this one. Okay. Yeah, so that's that. And now let's try to run this one here. And yeah, so six one three two. So this one passed. Let's try another one. And Yeah, this one is minus one. Yeah, so this one also passed. Yeah, I'm not going to run it from the the, the website. I'm just trying to show you guys the uh, the idea of this problem. Yeah, I think that's it for this for this one. And I think time time complexity, right? The uh, so this this for loop that's a fixed fixed number of for loops. So at most we have like what three times three minus minus like 
minus 3, it's going to be a 6, 6 DFS. And for each of the DFS, we are basically traversing each node exactly once since the since the, uh, the, the color is fixed, right? And, uh, so the, the total time complexity for this one is O of n. The n is the total number of the vertices or, or the nodes. Yeah, and yeah, there you go. So yeah, I think that's, that's it for this problem. Yeah, and thank you so much for you guys to watch this one. And uh, stay tuned. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.